guys welcome to vlogmas day what day is it today i'm gonna say day 20. i can't believe there's only five days left of vlogmas but here we are i am getting ready like my coat actually no i'm not wearing the robe i'm just wearing it right now because i'm actually pretty cold but we are getting ready to head out to st pete today we tried going last week and it was a complete fail it was too foggy and the ferry couldn't leave the harbor so they canceled our trip our trip was canceled. They officially canceled the ferry. Now what to do? The sun came out too. Man, I thought we were gonna have a fun Friday. I know, right? Explore. Check out a new little city. Actually, yeah, Friday night people. I know, go out on Friday night for once. And nope, it's okay. Better be safe than sorry, guys. What is it? It happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. We were scheduled for today. It should be fun. It's cloudy and muggy though, and I'm not really feeling the muggy and the humid weather, but it's Florida. What can we do with that? I am excited to explore a little bit of St. Pete and spend a couple hours there. I'm wearing, I'm gonna take this robe off. Oh, I'm just stepping all over. I'm literally wearing the same thing I wore last week when we tried going to St. Pete. Like, I have so many clothes and I always wear the same thing. But I'm just wearing this cute little crop top from Aritzia and one of my favorite jeans ever. These jeans are from Abercrombie. They're literally my fave. I love them so much. And I think I wanted to take a jacket because it might get a little cold tonight. Florida cold. I can't believe I get cold so easily here, but I do. I'm excited. We're finally getting to go to St. Pete. The sun's out. It feels good. It's not as muggy as it was this morning or humid. Looking good. Looking good. Second time's the charm. <laughs> Finally made it now. It's time to do a little bit of exploring before we have to catch the ferry back at what time? 6.30? 6.30. Yeah. No, 6. 6 o'clock. Yeah, and it comes back 6 o'clock. Yeah, so let's do a bit of exploring, you guys. That's probably really pretty at night. for babies. No wind. So far, St. Pete's decorations have been so much better. Christmas decorations have been so much better than Tampa's. A lot more creative, a lot more going on. It's a little windy today, so I don't know how much I will be able to talk and vlog at the same time. Exhibit. It's so hot out when it actually makes it pretty nice. How do you think of St. Pete? It's good, good. It's just hot. <laughs> yeah, well that's Florida.
What was that? Oh, no, You're early, bud. This is our fair, you guys. It's super early. What are you doing? Much fun, you guys. This is red stuff. Highly recommend for you guys to check out St. Pete if you've never been. They actually did a really good job at decorating for Christmas, something that Tampa is seriously lacking in. It was kind of sad though because we left right as the sun was setting, so we didn't really get to see the Christmas lights and everything turned on. We caught a little bit early on, but it was still so much fun. I love St. Pete's vibe, the downtown. What was it, the art district? Is that mm -hmm. what it was called? The innovation district. Innovation District was so nice. There were so many different types of restaurants. There were so many different things to see. And I definitely want to go back to check out like the beach side of St. Pete, like St. Pete Beach. I think that would be really fun. We'll probably check that out next year. The moon looks amazing tonight. I tried so hard to capture the moon, but I could not. I have no idea how people capture the moon with their camera. Being so quiet. I just couldn't take a good picture of the moon on my phone, but it was so pretty. It just looks stunning. And taking the ferry was so easy. It was on time. There was no delays. And I highly recommend if you're in the Tampa area and you haven't tried out the ferry, try it out. I think they stopped service in April for the summer season. It's super affordable, super cheap. A round trip was 40 bucks for me and my husband. It was so easy, we didn't have to deal with traffic or anything like that, so highly recommend. Now I'm gonna go shower, get ready to watch some football. Buccaneers are playing against the Saints tonight. Very important game. Baby, you want hot cocoa? Huh? Do you want hot cocoa? Yeah. Okay. Did you have fun? I did. Mm. That was a great vacation. Vacation? Ah. Uh, hmm? What is it? There's a name for it. Oh! Let me show them the toys. <laughs> That's the toy that we got our cats. Oh my gosh. Amelia, look at your new toy. Well, why don't you take the tag off? We also picked up these treats for them that we're going to try out. I love this little store that we found in St. Pete because I think everything was pretty much made in the USA. All their products are organic, which I thought was really cool. So I'm excited to give my cats this. We also picked up these catnip toys. Organic catnip. I didn't even know that existed, to be honest. A little early Christmas present for them. Oh my God, say it's positively USA handcrafted. That's so cute. Does she like it? Mm -hmm. 